Hey everyone, what is going on? And we have a pretty long video for you, about a half hour, a little over a half hour, and we're taking a look at a Master League team with Palkia. So Palkia has Fire Blast, this one at least. I think the traditional moveset is probably Draco Media, Aqua Tail Dragon Breath, but we're taking a look at Fire Blast, so going to be really interesting. Some pretty unique coverage, pretty good coverage, of course. And then Diago with the standard moveset with Draco Media, and Metagross. Now, I've said it before, I, I'm actually surprised more people don't use Metagross in the Open Master League or the Master League Classic. I think it's really good. But anyway, this Palkia will be able to get off this Fire Blast. There's no way this is not landing, right? There's no way. Oh, it doesn't land. They thought it was a Draco or something. Oh, man, that would have been awesome to see that land. Okay, so not going to land that game, but that's fine. Uh, in comes Metagross. Now, Metagross is going to be neutral to Superpower. Okay, going to be Rock Slide, so the Mel Mel Metal does go for the bait. Going for another attack. This one is probably the Superpower. Yeah, going to be Superpower. Okay, it does a good amount of damage, but still able to take it. Uh, Metagross is going for the Media Mash. Now, with that debuff, I do believe Media Mash should be enough to KO at that range. No, it's not. Never mind. Not even close. I thought with the debuff it would be able to, but... Well, the Metagross Shield, I mean, this Mel Metal is absolutely going to town. So, it does Shield. Maybe looking to farm down. Going to be able to farm down. Okay. Very nice, very nice. So in comes Darkrai. Darkrai is going to be hit with this Media Mash, but will the Darkrai decide to shield? Uh, it'll do a lot of damage. It does not shield, okay. And now in comes Dialga to look to farm town. Able to do so. What is in the back? Going to be a Mewtwo? Yeah, Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo at that. So Shadow Mewtwo taking a tremendous amount of damage. It has to commit the final shield. No doubt about it. Yep, going to go ahead and do that. And by the way, guys, I do believe this is the open Master League. I don't think it's the Master League Classic. I'm not 100% sure because he, uh, from his comments, he did say his Metagross was a little bit excelled uh, slightly. So, yeah, I mean, it can't be Classic if it's slightly excelled, right? So, uh, anyway, he also has a Discord. So, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and join that. And Metagross is going to be able to take that win. And we'll move on to the next game. But Master League, Master League Classic, doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, okay, so Palkia into Groudon. Obviously, the Aqua Tail is going to be doing a lot of damage. We do see a switch into Dialga. So out comes uh, this Metagross. So Metagross fighting Dialga. Now, Metagross does resist all the moves coming in from Dialga. So it's going to go ahead and shield this attack. Uh, Draco Meteor would do a lot. Unfortunately, it's an Iron Head. So I do understand that shield. And now charging up extra energy, going straight Earthquake. Should be enough to pick up the knockout against Dialga. I mean... A super powerful Earthquake, yeah, for sure. In comes Groudon. So Groudon is... This is probably a Fire Punch. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to knock it out at this health. It is barely not enough, but the Mud Shots will get the Metagross. In comes this Palkia with Aqua Tail. Going to be super effective damage. So we'll have to see what happens. Okay, we're going to see a shield there. Out comes Melmetal, okay. So this Palkia is going to go ahead and try for this Fire Blast again. Is he going to land it? He's going to land it in this video. There's no doubt about it. I don't know that for sure, but I can't imagine not landing it. No, they're going to pull the switch into Dialga. Very interesting. Okay. We'll have to see. Maybe sacking the Dialga. Maybe he wants to act as if he doesn't have Fire Blast on the Palkia, or he doesn't have a move that could hit Melmetal for a lot of damage, so that's why Dialga came in. I don't really know. But yeah, looks like he's sacking that, and now in comes this Palkia. So the thing is, yeah, now Palkia is going for the Aqua Tail. Because that Mel Metal is double debuffed, it's likely to shield. Uh, it's actually not going to shield, so it doesn't even need the Fire Blast. Another attack coming in. This is not really going to do too much because of that debuff. So it does okay damage. Uh, in comes Groudon. Groudon does go for a Charge Attack. Fire Punch should not be enough to KO. It is Fire Punch. Uh, it's not even enough at all. But this Groudon, I believe, should win. I mean, it still has a shield. It just needs one more Fire Punch. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Hold up. Hold all bets. Hold all bets. Another Aqua Tail coming in from the Palkia. Is it enough to KO? I feel like it's not. It is not. Can the Dragon Breath get it? Oh, my God. It can. It can get it. And in comes the Melmetal. No way the Palkia Dragon Breath the Melmetal down. No way he won that. Holy cow. Nice game. That is absolutely crazy. I did not see that win coming at all. I thought he was 100% losing that game. A shield with Groudon just needed a Fire Blast? No way. Okay, so <laughs> picking up a terrible lead. Gotta get out into D Alga. Uh, so yeah, you have to go into Dialga. In comes Swampit. Okay, so Swampit, you do have to watch out for the Earthquake, of course. So Earthquake will be enough to KO. This could be a Hydro Cannon Bait. 
It is a Hydro Cannon bait, so that's really not going to do too much. So Dialga is going to go ahead and be hit with another Hydro Cannon, but it's going to go ahead and shield this one up. It wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have gotten it pretty low. Uh, we're probably going to see an Iron Head. We do see that Iron Head come out from the Dialga, best buddied at that. I believe this is a perfect, by the way. Uh, I'm jealous because I don't have a perfect, but uh, I have a good one, just not a perfect one. Uh, so Dialga is going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head. Again, so maybe getting the final... Nope, not going to get the shield. Going to take switch. Very nice indeed. In comes Togekiss. So Togekiss is going to go ahead and be able to farm down. That's okay. And now out comes this Metagross. Metagross is probably going to just farm down. I mean, Flamethrower will do a lot. We do see the final shield. So that is going to be a Flamethrower. So Metagross will be able to farm down. Togekiss might attempt to switch. It looks like they're staying in though. Giving a lot of energy to this Metagross. Yeah. Given a lot of energy to Metagross. In comes Mewtwo, but the thing is Mewtwo can't handle a Media Mash, right? And they have one shield, but there's two Media Mashes coming. Uh, so here comes another one. That's actually a purified Mewtwo, so very cool to see. Um, it does a lot of damage. I mean, it doesn't KO, but it does do a lot. So now we're going to see an attack, likely a Psy Strike, into this Palkia, which will do a lot, but again, not enough to KO. No, an Ice Beam neutral damage, and now the Mewtwo goes down, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. By the way, it looks like I used a, a Shiny Palkia image, now that I realize it. I didn't realize that before, but either way, picking up a bad matchup, so we're going to switch into Dialga. Togekiss switches into Gradon a little bit late, though. So that will allow Dialga to farm up for the Draco Media and bait with the Iron Head. Now, Iron Head will still do a lot of damage. It's neutral. No shield from that Groudon. So Groudon is going to go ahead and likely go for a Fire Punch. So Dialga will shield this. This is most likely a Fire Punch. Yeah, going to be a Fire Punch. So Groudon, oh, lagging. Oh, but they do get to the Fire Punch. They had it. Looked like a little bit of lag there, but the Groudon still has the Fire Punch. Not enough to KO, though. So Dialga's going to be able to take Switch back uh, from a Groudon. So we'll have to see what decides to come in now. Going to be a Togekiss. Okay, Iron Head coming out. So this is probably getting a shield. Togekiss actually survives this, but it would do a lot of damage. And now it, Togekiss does fun down. But the Metagross is going to be lined up with that Togekiss. You'll love to see it. Togekiss still staying in. Okay. Going to go ahead and go for likely a Flamethrower. Yep. But Metagross is going to go ahead and shield that. We do see the Giratina Origin form. Medium Mesh coming out. It will do a lot of damage. We might see a shield here. I think that's the goal. No shield. But the Palkia comes in. Going to be able to farm down. Not before taking a Shadow Ball. But it's not going to KO. And then Palkia is going to be able to farm down. So Palkia can hang on and farm down that Giratina. It does have energy for an attack. Not going to be able to get to the Fire Blast, unfortunately. So we haven't seen a boom yet. Uh, Zionix term, not mine. But uh, Aqua Tail coming in. And Togekiss will go ahead and farm down. Now the, the Metagross comes out. And it just needs to get to this Medium Ash and take that game. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So Metagross is going to be able to, to win this one. But... Yeah, really well played. Yeah, I mean, Metagross is really good. Even, like, obviously against Togekiss, but, like, even against other Pokemon, it's good against Dialga, right? I mean, it's good against, like, well, it's not great against, it's not good against Groudon, but Medium Mesh still does a lot against Groudon, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I mean, it's a really solid pick. I'm surprised more people are not using it, myself included, to be honest with you. I should probably be using it for the Master League. I haven't been playing too much of Master League, but I probably will start to because I do like the Master League a lot uh, and, and we don't have I mean they don't force you to play it anymore right I mean they give you an option this time in this season we get to play the Great League instead before we had the Premier Cup which is still the Master League but um, yeah anyway it looks like it's taking a while to find an opponent that's unfortunate but that is okay it looks like that's the only time it's, it's the only time this happens in this video but um, looks like it's frozen a little bit, but it should uh, should reconnect in just a moment. So not too much of a big deal. But um, yeah, I didn't notice it prior to starting recording this audio. But I should kick in in a little bit, uh, hopefully. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this team. I hope we actually see a Fire Blast land. And I don't mean going for a Fire Blast. I actually mean landing one. That would be pretty epic. So that would be pretty cool to see that. I mean, imagine catching like a Dialga. Well, it's neutral to Dialga. But catching like a Dialga or like a Melmetal with that Fire Blast. They're not going to see what hit him. Uh, but, you know, they're still likely to shield though. Right? Only because like Draco Media still does a lot of damage. So if they're afraid of the Draco Media, obviously uh, they might shield that. Okay, so we had a, um, 
frozen there. I could have edited that out, but again, I didn't. I didn't realize it before starting to record. So I do apologize for that. But um, that's fine. We're in the battle now. So Mel Metal. I don't think it happens again uh, in this video. Looking at, maybe once more. I don't know. We'll see as we get to it. But uh, Mel Metal is going to go ahead, and they actually switch into this. Uh, what is it? Gavados. I couldn't think of the name. Gavados. But Gavados. Very interesting to see in the Open Master League. It's going to go ahead and go for Crunch. And now Dialga is going to go ahead and probably try to get this Iron Head. No, it's continuing to farm up. Uh, going to go ahead and let this attack go. Likely going to be another Crunch. No, it's going to be an Aqua Tail. Okay, maybe they thought they couldn't get to Crunch. But now Dialga will be able to successfully farm down. Uh, so it does farm down. It has a lot of energy. In comes Melmetal going for the Iron Head. Hoping to get a shield. I don't know that it does shield. Uh, it does actually shield, so very nice shield bait. Going for another one. Um, yeah, I guess maybe it would have been too risky to try and go for the Draco Media, but this Iron Head doing some chip damage, not too bad. Uh, Melmetal will go ahead and go for an attack. Going to be able to knock out this Dialga. It is a Rock Slide, though. Actually, not knocking it out because of the Rock Slide. In comes Palkia. They switch into Shiny Mewtwo, okay? So I think the Palkia has a couple of Aqua Tails ready to go. So we see Aqua Tail number one. And then number two is coming out right now. And this is going to connect. Uh, yep, yeah, doing a lot of damage. Palkia will, could shield, but it's not going to. It's going to go ahead and go down. Yeah, I would have let it go down as well. Uh, Metagross. The th good thing about Metagross is it it double resists the psychic attacks. Or, or not double resists, but it resists the psychic attacks. No, it does double resist the psychic attacks because it's a steel and a psychic type. So, but, you know, it's weak to Shadow Ball. So it does have to watch out for that. It's neutral to Focus Blast, which does do a lot. Uh, but we do see an Earthquake coming in. And this Earthquake will KO that Melmetal. And in comes Mewtwo. And I'm going to switch out into Dialga. Okay, Mewtwo does throw the attack. It really had to. It had no choice. Dialga could have farmed down. Going to be a Shadow Ball, so it actually does have Shadow Ball. So now uh, Metagross will be able to Media Mash down. Or not Media Mash, Bullet Punch. Excuse me. Uh, but let's go ahead and move into the next game. That was a really well-played game. So you do have Palkia into Groudon. Okay, so this is not Dialga, obviously, so it's not weak to Earthquake, but it would still take a lot. Palkia doing a lot of damage. Palkia also has the Aqua Tail, which is super effective, so definitely a great, great matchup for the Palkia. Uh, we do see a shield from Groudon. Uh, I don't know, this is probably the Earthquake. We'll see how much it does if they don't shield. They do not shield the Earthquake coming through. It does do a lot of damage. Palkia definitely on the squishier side. Gavados comes in, but the super fast swap into Dialga. Very nice switch. So Dialga is doing a tremendous amount of damage. Going to go ahead and opt to shield this attack. So going to be that Aqua Tail. I think that was Aqua Tail. Uh, I think so. But uh, Dialga will take this attack. This is probably a crunch. No, going to be an Aqua Tail. Okay, going to be an Aqua Tail. And Dialga is going to go ahead and maybe look to farm down, yeah. But another attack coming in. Again, if it's just an Aqua Tail, Dialga survives it. It is an Aqua Tail, so Dialga going to be able to survive it. Gavados may be baiting. Uh, but, okay, it has multiple... It has, like, it has a, a, enough for a Draco. It has multiple Iron Heads, right? So just going to go ahead and go for the Iron Heads, which I do think is the correct play. So we do see the Iron Head coming out. We do see a Shield and the other Iron Head coming out. This is... Not enough to KO Groudon, but it will be doing a lot of damage. Uh, almost enough to KO. The Dragon Breath almost got it, but Mud Shot down. In comes Palkia. Palkia will be the sacrifice. So Fire Punch, even though it's double resisted, will still be enough to KO. And in comes Metagross against Giratina. So Giratina altered form has Shadow Claw and like Shadow Sneak. So... Not looking too good, although two Media Mesh attacks should be enough to KO, and the opponent doesn't have a shield. So maybe that's what we'll see, because the Shadow Sneak I don't think is enough to KO. So Media Mesh coming out, going to do a big damage, a lot of damage to that Giratina, trying to get to another one. Oh, they get to it before that Giratina throws. I feel like Giratina was at the Shadow Sneak. Maybe it wasn't, but uh, Media Mesh will be enough to KO the Giratina. In comes Granada. Trying to thumb down before the Fire Punch. Able to do so. Able to take that game. You would love to see it. So, very well done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next video. I did say this is a lengthy one. Uh, this is about a half hour. A little bit more than a half hour. Maybe 35 minutes. So, we're seeing a Purple Kyoga on the opponent's side. You'll love to see it. They switch into Mewtwo. And okay, Aqua Tail is coming out, so Aqua Tail number one. Mewtwo could shield this. I mean, they could think it's a Draco Media, 
Uh, it is a really squishy Pokemon Mewtwo, so uh, now Palkia is going to go ahead and switch to catch the Psy Strike. Amazing switch because this is double resisted. No, it's a Psychic. It's a Psychic. It's still double resisted, but usually you see Psy Strike, but we're seeing a Psychic. Again, double resisted. Uh, Metagross is going to go ahead and shield this, afraid of the Shadow Ball, but it's just another Psychic. Uh, so Medium Mesh coming out. This obviously is enough to pick up the knockout against Mewtwo. So Medium Mash going to KO. The opponent will allow it. And then what is going to come out? Going to be Groudon. Okay, so Groudon is charging up. Can we see a Medium Mash first? No, we cannot. If this is a Fire Punch, it does not KO. Earthquake will KO. So it's a Fire Punch. It will not KO. So we do see a Medium Mash. Groudon will be able to fund down after this. But uh, this will still do a lot of damage, as I mentioned earlier. We that. Enough damage to warrant a shield from Groudon, right? So Palkia coming in, going for the Aqua Tail. So this Aqua Tail is going to be super effective. So we do see that Aqua Tail. And now the switch into Kyoga, and now out comes Dialga. So obviously Dialga has a good matchup against this Kyoga. It's just Blizzard will do a lot of damage. So you do have to watch out for that. Oh, it is going to be Blizzard. That's actually almost enough to one shot. Okay. They, they called the shield bait, was not a shield bait, but the Iron Head coming out. This uh, is resisted by the Kyoga. It's still enough to KO. In comes Groudon. And now out comes uh, Palkia. So Palkia has to be careful. Earthquake would KO. Uh, it's going to be a Fire Punch. Yeah, I thought it would be, but you have to respect the damage. Going to go ahead and still be able to farm down before the Earthquake comes out. Yeah, the Groudon needed to get to an Earthquake. So, well played. Able to take that game, and let's go ahead and move on to the next one and see how it goes. Let me know if you're playing the Great League, guys, or if you decided you want to play the Master League, Master League Classic. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, but Groudon will switch into Mewtwo, okay. So, okay, Mewtwo is going to go ahead and go for an attack, but we're going to see a shield from the Palkia. Going to be Psy Strike, and now we see a switch into Dialga. So Dialga is going to go ahead and... Look to go for this Iron Head, but an attack coming in from U2. This could, I think, be a Focus Blast. And it's going to be that Focus Blast. That one-shots the Algar. That's unfortunate. But Palkia comes in and looks to farm down, able to do so. Focus Blast. I've, I've one-shotted so many, so many Dialgas, so many Melmetals with Mewtwo. So out comes this Groudon. Going to be hit with double Aqua Tails, though, so not bad. Aqua Tail number one coming out. And another one will KO. So we might see a shield from the opponent. We'll have to see if they decide to shield and protect Groudon. They do. So they want to go for the Earthquake. Uh, they should be able to get to the Earthquake. Oh, yeah. Get, they, they both got to the move. But uh, Palkia is going to go ahead and shield this. Going to be that Earthquake, of course. And now it looks like Palkia will look to fawn down and save that energy instead. Uh, so in comes this Melmeta. Oh, my gosh. Tell me this Fire Blast lands. There's no way. I mean, there's no way they see it coming. But they could think it's a Draco Media. Oh, my God. They don't. There we go, the Fire Blast landing. You love to see it. You love to see it. By the way, these battles are all over the place. It's not in the correct order. Um, so it looks like the trainer, this trainer is an ace trainer. But again, uh, they're not. it's not in order, obviously. So, okay, going to go ahead and switch into Dialga. Definitely favorable for Dialga because the thing is, Dialga is neutral to Dragon Breath. Dragonite is weak to it. So Dragonite going to be hit with this Dragon Claw. Though. It does a lot of damage. But it uh, looks like the Iron Head is coming out. Will the Dragonite shield? Dragonite could probably shield and farm down if it wants to win Switch. Looks like that's what's going to happen. Dragonite actually going for another Dragon Claw. So, okay. That's good for the, the uh, Dialga. So, able to take that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see this Metagross come in and look to farm down. Going to be able to farm down before another Dragon Claw, which is huge. So, out comes another Gyarados. Okay, that looks like a Waterfall Gyarados to me. So, Medium Mesh is coming out. This is uh, resisted, but it still does... Well, I guess that doesn't do that much, but <laughs> it's decent damage. Uh, so, um, okay, Palkia is going to go ahead and go for this Aqua Tail. And that Aqua Tail will be uh, shielded. Okay. So, trying to get to another one, but the attack coming in. Palkia will go ahead and opt to shield this one. Going to be an Avalanche. And they're trying to get to another Aqua Tail. Able to get to it. Able to get to the Aqua Tail. This will be enough. I think this has got to be enough to KO Mammal Swine. Yeah, for sure. Okay, KOs. And in comes Gyarados. Gyarados is using Waterfall Double Resisted. So Palkia is going to shield this. And just do as much damage as possible to this Gyarados. It's going to be Crunch. Oh no, they just actually switch. Okay, I like that. I like, yeah, I mean, might as well go for the Media Mash. 
Uh, even though it's resisted, this is going to KO. That looks like um, a level 50 Gyarados to me. So this is probably Open Master League. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Open Master League. But let's go ahead and see the next move. Okay, we're seeing... Oh, a Gordovar. This is not good. You got to switch. Uh, you got to switch. Dialga, okay. Still not great. But anyway, the Melmetal comes in. That's obviously not good. Uh, so Melmetal is going to go ahead and probably just spam the superpowers. I usually don't bait with Melmetal against Dialga. Uh, while well, the opponent does bait, okay, uh, that's why I usually don't bait because sometimes they like to shield uh, Or they like to not shield a lot of times they like to not shield, but the Dialga actually shields there I if I was the Dialga, I wouldn't shield at all, but um, Anyway, we do see the Draco media. It does do a lot of damage, right? So uh, Dialga is gonna go ahead and try to get to this iron head able to do so so it might force the shield from the Melmetal uh, We'll have to see if the Melmetal decides to shield they do they they want to win switch uh, so they go for an attack. This is probably superpower. I don't think we're going to see another bait. Oh my god, we actually do see another bait. Okay, um, another attack coming in. Is this another bait? I mean, this will get the Elga very low. It is another bait. Uh, and now they switch out and they do they do snipe it with Chan. But yeah, that's why I don't bait. But anyway, Metagross comes in and Metagross is going to be able to farm all the way down. The opponent quits and that was a good game. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't recommend baiting if you're the Melmetal in that situation. Yeah, the Dialga does sometimes shield, but I would say most of the time, I, I land the superpowers most of the time. Not all the time, not all the time, but a lot of the times I do. Uh, Dialga switches in, out comes Garchomp. Okay, so Garchomp obviously has access to Earthquake and Sand Tomb, both of which are super effective. Sand Tomb wouldn't KO. Uh, if you're in the Master League, you, what do you have? Do you have Earthquake and Outrage as the move said? It's kind of hard to say. Uh, but the Elga is doing super effective damage with Dragon Breath. We do see a shield. It is the Sand Tomb. Okay, so going for the Sand Tomb. And actually able to knock out that Garchomp. So that is good. Uh, so in comes the opposing uh, Dialga. So going to be hit with his Iron Head. So Iron Head coming out. And that is going to get the shield very nice. And okay, that opposing Dialga is definitely going to farm down as we see. And now out comes Metagross. Metagross resisting every single move unless if it has Thunder. So we're going to see an attack. Draco Media still does a lot, but the, yeah, we're going to see a shield. Going to be that Iron Head bait. So now out comes Giratina, and now out in comes Palkia, which obviously this favors Palkia because Dragon Breath is super effective, but Shadow Ball still does a lot of damage. So Giratina actually could possibly win this one, to be honest. Um, it might actually win this matchup. Maybe it does win this matchup. Um, so we'll have to see about two sure. I mean, it's, it's going to be able to get to an, uh, an ominous wind, right? Yeah. So I guess, I guess Giratina wins that matchup. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, so the ominous wind is coming out and that will be enough to pick up the knockout. And now in comes Metagross able to farm down before the Metagross goes down and goes for this earthquake against Dialga and takes the win. So you love to see it. Very well done. Earthquake will KO that best buddy Dialga. You do need a best buddy Dialga if you want to use Dialga for sure. Uh, so really well played. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Palkia into Giratina. Okay, I I'd be happy with this matchup uh, because now that you have shields, Palkia is going to be able to win this. Uh, it could shield this. If it's a Shadow Ball, it might be able to farm down. We'll have to it is a Shadow Ball, so it might be able to farm down. Two, three, four. No, it's going for the Aqua Tail. I think the opposing Giratina could have gotten to uh, an ominous win. Oh, they actually do shield as well. So another Aqua Tail coming out. Oh, they snuck in a Shadow Claw. So now they probably can get to the Shadow Ball. So, oh, not after that Aqua Tail. So yeah, Palkia is going to be able to win that one. And okay, the opponent just gives up. No harm there. No harm, no foul. So that's totally fine. If they saw no way out, you could definitely surrender. Palkia into Giratina. You'll love to see it. Uh, so yeah, as, not a dominating matchup, but I still like the matchup. We do see the, the switch into the Alga, so out comes this own the Alga. So okay, so the opposing the Alga is gonna go ahead and go for an attack. We are gonna go ahead and see the shield. Gonna be a Draco Media, very nice shield by the the Alga. Uh, and now this the Alga is gonna go ahead and probably yeah look to farm down. Okay, they don't even get to an Iron Head, so the Dialga does from down. In comes Melmetal. Gonna go ahead and go for the bait right now. This is gonna be, obviously, the Iron Head. Where we see a shield. We do actually see a shield from the Melmetal. Uh, now we see a Draco Media. This Draco Media is probably going to land. And, I, again, it does do a lot of damage to Melmetal. Uh, but not enough to KO. 
Uh, so Melmetal is going to go ahead and go for an attack. And this is definitely Open Master because this Melmetal is above 4,000 CP. So uh, that does go ahead and KO the Dialga. In comes uh, Palkia. So Palkia is going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Tail. So this Aqua Tail is not going to connect. And okay, so the Melmetal is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. Uh, Rock Slide. And now we see a switch into this Metagross. Trying to get to a Meteor Mash, but an attack coming out. This is probably Super Power, but again, it doesn't KO. So you could definitely take it. Um, okay, they do switch into the Giratina. Meteor Mash going to be going into this Giratina. Very nice to see. So Meteor Mash is going to connect. And now an attack coming in from Giratina. So, okay, the shield going to be Ominous Wind. That's totally fine. Uh, yeah, should be able to farm down before another Ominous Wind. Yep, able to do so. Trying to get to this Medium Mash, but the attack from Metal Metal now Super Power will be enough to KO. Rock Slide may even be enough. Uh, yeah, it looks like Rock Slide was enough. Uh, in comes Palkia, and Palkia does get to the Aqua Tail and is able to take this game. Man, if that Metal Metal got to one more attack, it would have been able to take the game, but it was not able to. So Palkia will win that one. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. And it's going to be Palkia into Groudon. Okay, so obviously pretty good matchup. Groudon will switch out into Dragonite. In comes, uh, okay, in comes the Metagross. Now Metagross, obviously a good matchup for Dragonite because it does resist every single move Dragonite has. And we do see a Meteor Mesh, which does do a lot of damage. In fact, it KOs. And now in comes Groudon. So Groudon is going to go ahead and continue to charge up, throwing an attack. I wouldn't shield this. It could be Earthquake. But uh, that's fine. It's actually Fire Punch. It doesn't KO. So the Meteor Mesh coming out. Going to be going into the Groudon. We could see a shield. Again, I mean, Meteor Mesh threatens the Groudon for sure. And now Metagross goes down. Palkia is coming in. Trying to get to this Aqua Tail, but another attack. I don't think he bait here. So this is probably Earthquake. Uh, yep, definitely going to be Earthquake. And now in comes Mewtwo. Out comes Dialga. So Dialga does have to watch out for Focus Blast. We know it one-shots it. Oh, they're trying so hard to get to the Iron Head, but an attack comes out. Is it the Focus Blast? We don't know. No, Psych Strike, nice call. Nice call. It's possible they have Shadow Ball. Uh, it's possible they don't have Focus Blast. They get a Flamethrower Ice Beam. We don't know. So the Iron Head is going to be shielded. Mewtwo is going to go ahead and definitely go for another Psych Strike, most likely. But it doesn't kill the Dialga. No, Flamethrower. Okay. <laughs> so they do have Flamethrower, but it still is enough to KO. Okay, so this is Psy Strike, so Palkia is going to go ahead and, and really have to shield this one. So they do shield, and in comes Groudon. Groudon is going to be hit with this Aqua Tail, which is super effective, as we know. So it goes into the Groudon, and trying to farm down. They do farm down, very nice indeed. And now Mewtwo comes in, Aqua Tail will be enough to KO this Mewtwo. And this Palkia is going to be able to take this game. So very well played indeed. So we have two more battles for you. Thank you for hanging out with me for this long, guys. I really do appreciate it. So Palkia into Godshop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, well, you do have to watch out for the Outrage, of course, which I'm sure it has. But look how much damage it's taking from Dragon Breath. Aqua Tail is neutral. So Aqua Tail is going to go into the Godshop. Do you shield this? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the Palkia will shield it. Let's see what it is. Going to be a Sand Tomb. Nice bait by the opponent. But can this Palkia farm down? Yeah, they're going to be able to barely farm down. Okay. And now, I didn't see what came in, but the, the Aqua Tail is going into whatever came in. So it is going to be a Mewtwo. Okay, so now the switch, obviously resetting the defense debuff. Very nice. So Dialga going to be hit with an attack. Oh, is it is it is it Focus Blast? I don't know. No, it's Psy Strike. Nice call by the Dialga. Uh, so going to go ahead, and this is definitely another Psy Strike, I think. Dialga is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Yeah, it is a Psy Strike. I uh, didn't have to shield it, but wanting to keep the Dialga healthy, so I totally understand that. So this Iron Head is going to go into Mewtwo, but it does get the shield. And we see a switch into Ho-Oh. Okay, I mean, Ho-Oh is really good as well. Uh, so Ho-Oh is going to be hit with this Iron Head. Oh, it's resisting it, though. But we still may see a shield. We'll see. If they think it's Draco Media, no shield. Oh, the opponent's out of shields, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, Incinerate's going to be able to farm down, but it does take a lot of damage. Look how much damage it took. Out comes Palkia. Palkia going to be hit with... It's got to be Brave Bird, yeah. Going to KO that Palkia. And now in comes Metagross, able to farm down. Uh, and out comes Mewtwo. Yeah, even a Focus Blast wouldn't KO 
Shadow Ball I don't think KOs either. So we're going to jump into the final game of the video. So it's going to be Palkia into Dialga. So obviously not a good matchup. So we're probably going to see a switch as we do into their own Dialga. Out comes another... Is that another Garchomp? Uh, okay, another Garchomp switching into Dialga. Very interesting switch-ins. Uh, I mean, it does have play. We're not going to see a shield there. I, all these Garchomps running Sandtomb. Totally fine. Uh, we do see an Iron Head. The Garchomp might shield. They do shield. Um, okay, I, I think we're going to see a farm down. We're probably going to see a shield farm down, right? Yeah, Dialga is going to go ahead and shield this. This is definitely a sand tomb. No, it's an outrage. I stand corrected. And Dialga does farm down. And now in comes uh, Kyoga. Okay, trying to get to this Draco Meteor. He's going to be able to get to it. This is going to do massive damage if there's no shield. So Draco Meteor is coming out. Oh my god, it actually just KOs. Uh, and now comes Metagross. And Metagross is favorable against Dialga, so it just needs to go for an Earthquake. It's going to shield this. Uh, this is probably Draco. No, it's going to be an Iron Head. Okay, obviously it could have taken it. Could have taken Draco as well, but might as well shield. Going for the Earthquake. Uh, this is going to be a good game. Uh, yeah, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.